Welcome back, fourth graders. Hope you had a great weekend. I'm enjoying some of that beautiful weather we had this weekend. We are getting back into the unit of study on sequence. We started this last week. Honey Rose put a page in her notes uh, to get us started with this. Sequence is the order of events or things that happen and follow each other. Well, by now, I hope that you have your November envelope that has some papers and things that go along with this next month. Inside of it, you'll find a packet of paper that has a bunch of things for sequence. Most of it is just graphic organizers that'll help us as we work through this unit. So if you would, you'll need to have this packet and it says at the top, sequential order. Even though the notes here say sequence, you can see sequence is pretty much in the word sequential order. Sequential order is the step-by-step -step following of sequence. First this happens, then that happens, then we do this, finally this happens. It's basically the same thing as sequence, but it's titled sequential. Okay, sequential order, it's the same idea. So Honey Rose is going to focus on sequential order, doing some step-by-step -step instructions, and if I heard her right, she said something about, about baking a cake, which scares me just a little bit, but I'm pretty sure that's what she and my daughter had talked about, is something with baking a cake. So let's go take a look. I think she was busy making a list of things to get from the grocery store. Let's find out what's happening. All right, Honey Rose, you wanna make a list of um, some things we need to get from the grocery store? So we got cake mix. Yep. Cake mix and um, oil, maybe some flour, eggs, um, frosting. Honey Rose, you getting this down? Okay. So my daughter Micah and Rosie are planning to uh, go to the grocery store and get some cake mix, I think it is, to help us with a lesson on sequencing. I really don't know, Micah, if Rosie should be driving. Um, Honey Rose hasn't taken her, her test yet. So maybe you should get in the driver's seat to go to the grocery store. But they're going to go and get a cake mix so that we can practice doing some things with sequence. All right. Thanks, Honey Rose. As my daughter and Honey Rose are heading to the grocery store, it's probably a good time for you to start in on your assignment for today. You click the next button and you're gonna find an activity that you're going to do where you are, are working on sequential order again, placing things in the order they should happen, step by step. Sometimes you'll notice that with sequential order, they just put like number one, number two, number three, and just number it down. This is what you do in order. But we're gonna to try to focus in and keep using, if we can, these, these key words, first and next and after that. But oftentimes you will see with sequential order, especially when it's instructions, following instructions, they might just number them down the side. So good luck on your assignment as you click onto the next button. And we will see you back here tomorrow and hopefully um, we'll find out how the cake is coming along. Have a good day.